Hi friends, this side Dr. Sonu Bhavar, your microbiology faculty at LN Next. And today I am here to tell you how to approach of microbiology in the second year in a smart way. So, actually the new competency based curriculum of the NMC have created a lot of confusions regarding the subject of microbiology. And in that they have divided microbiology into various system wise sections that uh, this particular uh, is uh, regarding the infections of the CNS, this is regarding the infection of the liver and uh, this is uh, like bloodstream infections. So, these all they have made up, okay. So, but my approach uh, regarding uh, this is like it have created a lot of confusions and to avoid that confusion, what's my advice to you is go in a way in which you like firstly understand that what are bacteria, what are fungus, what is virus, okay, and uh, in fact, uh, what about the parasites and all, okay. So, means first of all, general microbiology you read up, then you go for immuno and all, because that is what is the sequence of the curriculum, they go by that only. But what I have done is, in the in initial part of my app, what I have done, I have put in the general microbiology ones, important points, which help you to recapitulate the things uh, and to understand lot of uh, stuffs which will help you to analyze all the things regarding the system wise approach also and the other way around approach also. So as per me, it is the best one that uh, firstly you should know that what are bacteria and what about the fungus, parasites and virus and then you put them system wise, okay. And uh, Largely, I have made it uh, microorganism wise only that uh, like in GPC, I have started up with the staph, strepto and all that. And after that, uh, I have done the mycology, parasitology and after which I have done the viro and all. And along with immuno and all, everything is being covered up. And for you, like uh, my advice is that firstly, you got to know that what is a GPC and what's there in that, what all diseases it cause, okay. And those diseases like uh, staph does uh, acute uh, native wall endocarditis, it does acute osteomyelitis. So actually staph does variety of diseases, okay. So how you can classify that, that it is in the skin uh, chapter, the staph will come. So I don't agree only on this particular front that the staph should be into the like uh, skin one. Because it have, uh, other than skin, it does food poisoning also, it associates with the uh, this particular uh, TSST and all. So this particular approach, uh, I think have a problem. And uh, if you go by me and uh, you go this particular way, you will have a better understanding and you will learn the things in a better way. And you, you can put up in the prof exam wonderfully that particular thing. Because what I have done up, I have also given up along with all this, the extra edge for uh, second years and all. In that, uh, I have covered up all the possible case scenarios which can be there in the bacteriology, which can be there in the mycology and all other also, okay. So that particular thing will give you an insight that uh, how this question can be asked in the form of uh, case scenarios and all. Because now they will be asking the case scenarios. So that should be like in your mind that uh, the salmonella typhi is there. So it will not be asked as salmonella typhi, it will ask in the form of typhoid fever. Okay, and in that they will ask you regarding the clinical features, they will ask you regarding the lab diagnosis and all. So that I have covered up. Okay, but yes, firstly you should know that Salmonella typhi is an Enterobacteria member. It's a bacteria because what I'm getting in the exam is whenever I take the viva and all, the students are confused in this that what is virus, which all are viruses, which all are fungus. So this is not the approach to be like uh, in the first go. This is not the approach to be having. So, in this, uh, definitely, you should see that, uh, firstly, you should have a basic idea that uh, which are bacteria and all that and then you can mingle up because uh, uh, if it is competency based also, the NMC have already given up that uh, in this bloodstream infections, these all bacteria will be there. So, obviously, if you know about the bacteria and all, you can easily relate them there, okay. Then same thing is there that uh, these all viruses cause these types of bloodstream infections, then from the viruses, you can keep them there. So, this is the way to approach up. Okay, firstly you know about them and then you can bring into that particular chapter, that particular thing that is bloodstream, this is there, this is there, this is there. Okay, so if you go by this way, you will understand the things better. You will perform in the university exams also very good and uh, I have covered up most of the 
practical aspects also that this reaction was asked and that reaction was asked and uh, what are the latest investigations and what all they can ask you in the viva that is also being covered up in the second year approach to the microbiology so from my side very best of luck and i suppose this definitely would help you to approach of microbiology in a more scientific and a good way thank you so much